Minister Nirmala Sitaraman gave details about the steps taken for the urban poor during the lockdown period today. She said that in a month, government will launch easy access to credit for street vendors, adding that migrant workers can use their ration cards in any part of the country and that the urban migrants, urban poor, can now look forward to having some basic rental accommodation for themselves. Work from home is likely to become the new normal for government offices in the days to come with departments and ministries already staggering working hours and rosters to ensure a minimal number of employees at their offices during the coronavirus lockdown. The centre has released a draft version of rules governing work from home protocols for its 48.34 lakh employees and several offices. The Army is considering a proposal to allow civilians, including young working professionals, to join the forces for three years as officers and in other ranks in areas like logistics and front-like formations. According to the sources, Army is also considering to take personnel from the paramilitary and central armed police forces for up to seven years, after which they would be allowed to return to their parent organization. Delhi Chief Minister Ivan K. Jivas, the government has received many suggestions from the market associations who have asked for market and market complexes to be opened on an odd-even basis. He said these would be discussed in a meeting between the LG and the State Disaster Management Authority, after which the recommendations would be forwarded to the centre. K. Jivas had earlier indicated he was ready to open up almost all economic activity in the national capital except for containment zones. The Minister for IU, Shri Padnaik, tweeted that his ministry, along with the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, are working together on validating four IU formulations against the COVID-19 and the trials will start within one week. These formulations, he said, will be tried as an add-on therapy and standard care for COVID-19 patients. Japan's Prime Minister on Thursday lifted for most of the country a state of emergency imposed to tackle the coronavirus but kept it in place for Tokyo and Osaka. He declared a month-long state of emergency on April 7th in the capital and six other urban prefectures and later expanded it to the whole country until May 31st.